Hi everyone, I just wanted to go over some very quick points that I noticed in AE1 grading. Um, first of all, as I've explained in previous videos, you will need to use the assessment experience checklist to decide which assessments you're going to use for assessment experiences one through four. Um, remember that this is just a recap of the directions in the AE overall taken from the syllabus. For each individual AE, you're going to choose the assessment checklist. So when I click on that, it downloads. So over here, I have a copy of the AE checklist. And so in looking at this, the first one is required, which means that everybody will complete a reading attitude survey or interest inventory. So just to be clear, whether you're elementary or secondary, everybody is going to complete a reading attitude or interest survey. For the second AE, whether you are in um, elementary or in secondary, you have a choice of one of these assessments. If you have a Words Your Way or um, access to any of these others, you can choose one of those as well. In um, AE3, there's a choice assessment, which means that anything we've already learned or covered or something that you feel you need more information on, you have a lot of choice. And if you have any questions about whether or not an assessment is acceptable for AE3, just let me know. And then please note that for both um, elementary and secondary, um, you have a required um, IRI, so um, you must do the reading and the comprehension. And if you need anything else, please don't hesitate to ask. So just to reiterate, the assessment experience checklist is in each of the AE experiences, and that is what will determine which single assessment you will use for each of the four AE experiences. Lastly, I have already spoken with a few people who did not have any access to children and have given permission to use the video. If you have access to students, you should be using a student in your classroom. I just want to make that absolutely clear. Um, the videos were there for those who did not have any access. You will get the most out of this experience, which is absolutely what I want, if you use a student from your classroom. As always, if you have any questions, please let me know, and I look forward to seeing your next AE experiences.